This poem is by Stacey Ann Chin. She was born in 1971 and is a spoken word poet, performing artist, and an LGBT rights activist. She was of Jamaican and Chinese descent and is um, currently living in New York City. I have a, her book here called Stories Surrounding My Coming, and it appears to be like a little self-published or self-printed uh, book. Um, the title of this poem is called, And These Are Only Some of the Things I Believe. Imagination is the bridge between the things we know for sure and the things we need to believe when our worlds become unbearable. So I know the way my tongue feels, wrapped around a sliver of East Indian mango. I know it reminds me of a time of giant breadfruit trees, skinned six-year-old knees, and pungent pimento seeds drying on a sheet of galvanized zinc. I know the sounds I make during sex, know them because my lover makes them for me when she wants to remind me that I am not always in control. I also know that if you are black, male, and mobile in America, the police will pull you over, especially if you drive an expensive car. I know if you speak differently from the rest of the crowd, chances are your contemporaries have already made fun of you. We all know this world is difficult because we each have to live here, and in this time of schoolboy bullets, biological warfare, and kiddie porn, it takes guts to believe in any god, so I practice on believing in the smaller things till I am able to make room for the rest. I begin with believing there's a Santa Claus, except I believe St. Nicholas is a holiday transvestite, and I believe in monsters lurking under the bed because they give our children something to conquer before the world begins to conquer them. And I believe in the steady inflation of the tooth fairy, donate more than one nickel to that cause, because a dime under the pillow makes it easier to endure the loss of a molar, prepares for the greater loss of a teacher or a mother to the NYPD. And I believe in the identity of the Easter Bunny believing he's the same person as Bugs Bunny, which means being schizophrenic isn't always bad. It means when I'm tired of being a black feminist poet, I could go rally for rights of the new age transsexuals, get them an interview with Rosie O'Donnell or Oprah. I believe I could find them a few friends right there on Sesame Street, and contrary to popular belief, I believe Bert and Ernie are straight. I believe they're just waiting for the right girls to come along, but I believe Kermit the Frog is a closet dyke, and that's why he has issues with pushy lesbians like Miss Piggy. And I believe most lovers will lie to you eventually. And though I believe two wrongs don't ever make a right, sometimes slashing his tires makes you feel better. And I believe Dharma and Greg are funny, but only if they make you laugh. And I believe Pinky and the Brain are revolutionaries, because every night they try to take over the world. Like them, I believe there will always be something to fight for. And I believe everyone should believe in something, anything, if it helps you make it through the day. So I believe in Ashanti spirits, in spite of what the pragmatists say. I believe in unbelievable phenomena, like telepathy and karmic shapeshifters crafting futures from the moon. I believe in that elusive world peace. I believe, if I believe, it really could come soon. And I believe in unexpected and capricious friendships. I believe in trusting with the tenacity of a fool. And I believe in believing every day. And as for as long as we can, I believe we should believe in something we don't know for sure. Acknowledge the range of possibilities, unlimited by what we see. Move reality with imagination. We declare what our destinies will be.